Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm excited to share my content with you, and I hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on my latest videos. Let's get started. Here are 10 tips to reverse a fatty liver. 1. Maintain a healthy weight. Maintaining a healthy weight means keeping your body mass index, BMI, within a healthy range, which is typically considered to be between 18.5 and 24.9. This can help reduce the amount of fat stored in the liver and lower the risk of liver damage. To achieve a healthy weight, it is important to adopt a balanced diet that includes nutritious foods and to engage in regular physical activity. Additionally, it is important to avoid rapid weight loss, as this can cause further harm to the liver. 2. Follow a balanced diet, low in added sugars and saturated fats. Following a balanced diet means eating a variety of nutritious foods from all food groups in appropriate portions. A diet that is low in added sugars and saturated fats can help reduce the risk of developing a fatty liver and improve liver health. Added sugars are found in many processed foods and drinks and can contribute to weight gain and increased fat in the liver. Saturated fats are typically found in animal products, such as meat and dairy, and can also contribute to weight gain and liver damage. To reduce your intake of added sugars and saturated fats, it is recommended to choose whole, unprocessed foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Additionally, limit your consumption of high sugar and high fat foods, such as candy, baked goods, fried foods, and fatty meats. 3. Exercise regularly. Exercising regularly means engaging in physical activity on a regular basis, such as at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Regular exercise can help maintain a healthy weight, improve insulin sensitivity, and reduce the amount of fat stored in the liver. Physical activity can be anything from structured exercise, such as running or weightlifting, to more moderate activities like walking, cycling, or swimming. It is important to find physical activities that you enjoy and that can be incorporated into your daily routine. Exercise does not have to be intense to be effective, and even moderate activities such as 4. Limit alcohol consumption. Limiting alcohol consumption means reducing the amount of alcohol you drink or, ideally, avoiding it altogether. Alcohol is a major contributor to the development of fatty liver disease, as well as other liver diseases such as cirrhosis. The amount of alcohol that is considered safe to consume varies, but the general guideline is to limit alcohol intake to no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. A drink is defined as 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of spirits. It is important to remember that even small amounts of alcohol can contribute to the development of a fatty liver and other liver diseases, so limiting or avoiding alcohol is an important step in maintaining liver health. If you are unable to limit your alcohol intake on your own, it may be helpful to seek support from a healthcare professional or a support group. 5. Manage stress. 
Managing stress means taking steps to reduce or cope with stress in a healthy way. Stress can have a negative impact on both physical and mental health, and chronic stress can lead to the development of health problems, including liver disease. There are many effective ways to manage stress, including exercise, mindfulness meditation, deep breathing, and hobbies. It is important to find what works best for you and make it a regular part of your routine. Remember that everyone experiences stress, and it is a normal part of life. By finding healthy ways to manage stress, you can improve your overall health and lower the risk of liver damage. 6. Avoid crash diets. Avoiding crash diets means avoiding extreme diets that promise rapid weight loss in a short amount of time. These diets often involve restrictive calorie intake and eliminate entire food groups, which can lead to malnutrition and other health problems. Crash diets can also cause rapid weight loss, which can be harmful to the liver. When the body loses weight too quickly, it can cause a buildup of toxins in the liver, leading to further liver damage. Instead of crash diets, it is recommended to adopt a balanced and sustainable diet that includes a variety of nutritious foods. This type of diet, combined with regular exercise, is the best way to achieve and maintain a healthy weight. If you are considering making dietary changes to improve your health, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian to ensure that you are following a safe and nutritious eating plan. Seven. Stop smoking. Quitting the use of tobacco products, such as cigarettes, cigars, and chewing tobacco. Smoking is a major cause of numerous health problems, including heart disease, cancer, and lung disease, and it can also contribute to liver damage. When you smoke, harmful chemicals are released into your bloodstream and can damage your liver. Over time, this can lead to a buildup of fat in the liver and increase the risk of liver damage. Quitting smoking can be difficult, but there are many resources available to help you. It is never too late to quit smoking and improve your health. By stopping smoking, you can reduce the risk of liver damage and improve your overall health. 8. Get enough sleep. The recommended amount of sleep for your age group each night. Sleep is important for overall health and well-being, as it allows the body to repair and rejuvenate. Lack of sleep has been linked to numerous health problems, including weight gain and insulin resistance, which can lead to the development of fatty liver disease. Getting enough sleep can help regulate hormones that control appetite and metabolism, which can help maintain a healthy weight. To ensure that you are getting enough sleep, it is important to establish a consistent sleep schedule and create a sleep-conducive environment, such as a cool, dark, and quiet room. Getting enough sleep is an important step in maintaining overall health and reducing the risk of liver damage. By prioritizing sleep, you can improve your health and reduce the risk of developing health problems. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and leave a comment below. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on my latest videos. Until next time, take care.